hello. There's something worth looking at from here. The moon is almost perfect. It'll be full in just three more days. So it would seem. I have no intention of relinquishing my abilities and living an empty life to continue existing as we are or to die powerless. I hear you. I know how important this is to you, Takaya. To us, we can't afford to lose it. And besides... Jin? If the Dark Hour disappears, we might forget everything that happened. Won't we? I'd forget you and Chidori, the things we did together, our time at the facility. All of it, to me, that's a fate worse than death. I couldn't care less if that damned facility got erased from my memory. Having this uncontrollable power forced on us, watching everybody we knew disappear one by one. There's just one thing I refuse to forget. Back when I was trapped in that living hell, you spoke... Thanks to what you said, I learned how to keep myself going. Your words gave my life meaning, Takaya. If I forget that, I won't have any reason to be alive. <sighs> it may not be much of a purpose compared to yours. It was just a couple of words, I know. But they meant the whole world to me. So I can't lose this fight either. Is that so? Hmm. Well then, why don't we find out together? Whom will fate elect to choose? Them or us? <laughs> right. like you to celebrate with me as of today I am a free individual no not quite yet almost though I just came from the hospital they were going to admit me but it's no longer needed I guess my body is too weak to undergo surgery so I've opted out of examinations and medication I'm done with the hospital. Now, I'm just waiting for the end. But I don't feel like I'm being singled out anymore. Everyone is waiting to die all the same. Some just have longer to wait than others. But once the time comes, it's the same for all of us. I'm still a little lonely, but I've moved past the sadness. Could I get a better look at you? I want to remember your face. Thank you. I'm a little bit tired today. The story is almost done. So I'll show it to you soon. I'll come see you again.
I'm beat. You're too fast for me, Coral John. I bet you're having fun, though. <laughs> All right, knock yourself out. I wonder if Coral John's as psyched up as I am. There's only two days left. I'm feeling pretty anxious about it. Everything will work out, I'm sure. Oh, welcome back. You sure are as playful as always. Hmm? What's that you got there? Wow, you found something good. You've got quite an eye there, Koro-chan. <laughs> you look pretty pleased with yourself. Well then, why don't we head back? Come back soon. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Very well.
other day, Mom and Dad, they talked to me about why they were getting divorced. It was sad. But I listened to the whole thing. Did I do good? <laughs> Thank you. So, Mom and Dad, they said when there's no love, it's hard to stay married. But they said not to worry, because they would love me no matter what. So I told them, it's okay if they get divorced. It must be hard to live with someone you don't love. Hey, so I have to choose if I want to live with Mom or Dad. Who do you think I should pick? My dad. He always buys me toys and stuff. Mom cries all the time now. I don't want her to be all alone. Maybe I should go with her. Oh, if I go with Mom, I might have to move somewhere far away. And then I won't be able to play with you anymore. It's no fair. I miss you too much. Get home. Hey, will you hold my hand on the way home? Tomorrow will finally be our last operation. Yeah, we've been through so much over the last half year or so. Don't you think? Yeah, I guess it flew by. Hey, it was way better than just doing nothing, right? Besides, we made some new friends. <sighs> yes, that's true. Not a single thing we've done has been for nothing. It's been two and a half years since I got this power. And it's been worth it. Sonata-san. Don't forget, we got to meet Koro-chan, too! Still, two and a half years is a long time, Sonata-senpai. Oh, wait! It's been even longer for Aegis, hasn't it? I was in stasis for much of that time, so I haven't been operational for very long. How about you, Kirijo-senpai? You got your start before Sonata-san, right? Hmm? Me? Yes, it was just me at first. Of course, Seas wasn't around back then, and this was just a regular dorm. Did the chairman recruit you too? No, he didn't. I've been aware of the Dark Hour since I was a child. Once, my father's research team was ambushed by shadows while they were investigating Tartarus. When I witnessed the attack, I awakened to my persona. That's what happened? Apparently, I was the first ever to reliably control my persona. If that had never happened, then maybe none of you would be going through this right now. Senpai... Someone would have gotten involved eventually. It's not like we could just ignore what the shadows do to people. I suppose that's true. Tomorrow is our last operation, so make sure to rest up tonight. You have my thing. Oh, yeah! Excuse me. Um...
Like this, I guess? Welcome. I'll be taking care of you today. Are you ready to order, or do you need a little more time? Hmm. It's too bad the school festival got cancelled. I already went to all the trouble of putting this on, so maybe I should wear it around the dorm for the day. Hmm. Sup, Yucatan? Hey, does that mean you gotta call me master? What's going on, Takuba? You planning to work at Mitsuru's mansion or something? <sighs> Forget it. I've been meaning to return this, but now that I look at it, it's a real uniform. Huh. It's not just a costume. Oh, I should take a picture before I give this back to Senpai. Yukari-chan, are you there? I need your help with something. Sure, one sec. I know. I'll drag Fuka down with me. At least then I won't be alone in the embarrassment. Yukari-chan! Those clothes! I've got a couple spares if you want to try one on. How about it? Huh? Um, wait! Don't worry. Just hold still. It's a little tricky to put on, so it'll be faster if I help. Um, wait, Yukari-chan!
the south end of the Moonlight Bridge. The twelfth and final shadow. Hmm. So this is it. And as we expected, I'm detecting more Persona users nearby. It's Draga. They know this is their last chance. We expected as much, but don't be careless. So, it's them. <laughs> Saves us the trouble of looking for them. You've all fought admirably thus far. This will be our last operation. Let's all come back safely. Got it. Roger that. Of course. I trust you know what is at stake today. You claim you hunt the shadows to prevent the disaster they bring. Yet, countless lives are lost each day, even without their intervention. <sighs> the ability to use a persona is not in itself evil. You have no reason to forsake it. So, why not just admit it? You do not truly wish to eliminate the Dark Hour. You are merely deceiving yourselves in the pursuit of self-satisfaction. I don't think you truly believe that. Ah, you are foolish children indeed. Erasing the Dark Hour is the same as erasing yourselves. How can you not even conceive such a thought? Your imprudence is truly beyond comprehension. As I believed, our goals are irreconcilable. It's time, Jin. What a bunch of fools. I can't stand to look at you. Fate shall decide which of us will remain. Come then. Just don't know when to quit. Now then, it is time for your judgment. Out of my way. I'll go with Justin.
All right, that's enough of a warm-up. It's time for the real deal. Here. This will be your end. Her soul. They can coordinate their attacks too. Try not to let them target your weaknesses. It appears you have more than just luck on your side. So be it. Out of my way. I figured this would have been. Let's do this. Stay sharp, everyone. this hard before you guys sure are trouble there you go go for it this will be your end death to all fighting others with the same power and what difficult opponents they are Look at how you squander your potential. It's beyond comprehension. Persona! than I thought. Here. 
Someone's confused. They may not turn predictably. Looks like this is it. can't even stand up to a naturally awakened persona. Experiments? For us, it's not so simple. Our powers weren't awakened naturally. We can't even use them without straining our bodies. Don't you remember what your dead pal was carrying? So you were giving Shinji the suppressants? You guys don't have the slightest clue what'll happen if the Dark Hour disappears, do you? It won't matter for normal people, since they don't remember anything anyway. But without the Dark Hour, even Persona users like us will... Mm -hmm. Jin, that's enough. Now then, ordinarily we would withdraw here. But that is not an option tonight. This body, ephemeral though it may be, is worthless without my power. Therefore, I've only one choice. I shall prove my existence here and now! What are you doing? Don't be so reckless! Jin? Sorry, but... I haven't forgotten what you said to me. You win. Go on and defeat the Shadow. Maybe then you'll see what you've been fighting for this whole time. Wait a sec. Don't tell me you're gonna jump. I'd rather die than surrender to you. <laughs> Take a good look. This is how we live. They jumped. What the hell? Don't let it get to you. They chose how they wanted to go out. We're not done here yet. Our real target is waiting. Let's just focus on that for now. <laughs> 